I said I would come up with a video for the chassis jig, so I haven't really had time to show you the construction of it. We're nearly there. We've got the chassis jig about halfway built, and I'll give you a quick uh, look at it now, and then uh, over the next few days we'll finish building it. We're just waiting on a few nuts and bolts and things, but the principle is to make sure that the chassis is the, the CG, center of gravity of the chassis, is right at the pivot point in the jig. So that as we rotate it, it doesn't just take off on you. And that happens uh, quite a lot. So I'll just show you how we've done that and what we've built. Uh, and it's, it's working pretty well for us. We're very happy with it. Here we are uh, just using a little bit of laser tech uh, to make sure that we've got everything square on the jig and on the chassis. Uh, this is uh, a Firecore product that we've used previously, just uh, outputs a laser, it's self-leveling, and you can see on the chassis here that we're aligning the laser light up uh, with a parallel uh, bar on the chassis. We're also aligning up the center. There's a center bar here. If I go and give the laser a little wiggle, you can see that it's self-aligning. And we should be able to just point that to the center of the chassis, which we've done there. And that'll give us an alignment tool, at least at this end, so that we know everything's square. And we'll repeat that at the other end, and we'll repeat that from the side of the chassis as well. Okay, so here we go again with that laser tool. And this time we've put an alignment line across the top of the top bed. I'll just give that a wiggle for you. So you can see that line that we've run down through uh, one of our positioning bars. Here's our end piece. Uh, we've just got a bit of pipe, a pipe in and pipe outer. We just ran that through the lathe just to make it nice and firm. And there's a fixing bolt under here. Just hold this collar on so that the jig can't slide out. We're debating whether we'll put some wheels on this, some big casters so that we can roll the thing around the workshop. Uh, it doesn't have to be a really big heavy jig, uh, simply because the job is not that big. Now, as you can see, the chassis is sitting by itself there, uh, nicely balanced, which is exactly what we want, so that we can get around it. And what we've done is uh, gusset the corners. We've made everything that should be holding uh, the necessary uh, measuring points We've bolted those on to our chassis jig. And here on the top, I'll just flip it over. And again, it should be, if it's well balanced, we should be able to spin this thing very easily with our hands, which we've done. And what we've done is just welded a strong back uh, just on the center part here, so that we don't get a bend uh, in the jig as we're assembling. And, and it's very light, so we want to be able to get in and out of things and be able to, you know, measure and get at it easily. If you build a great big fixed jig, it makes it very difficult. Um, actually, it's quite a complicated chassis. There's a lot here. And what we've got to do is make sure we assemble it in the right order and that we can get at everything. So hence, lots of room to get the welder in. Uh, we built the jig on a fully completed chassis deliberately so we can get this balance right as you can see look um it's going to rotate very easily with just a slight push like a couple of fingers and we can make it do what we want it so this means we can get in there and get at everything there's some quite complicated parts to this chassis now this chassis came out of a car i purchased some years ago and we're surprised to find you know the type of welding here the welding finishes in the middle of these parts. I don't know why they just didn't run that bead right down there. It just doesn't make a lot of sense that you would stop part way, but it seems to be a consistent pattern around this chassis. Um, the other thing is we can't quite decide whether some of this is original Land Rover work or whether this has been replaced. In some parts it looks original, but then this is really ugly welding and I'm not quite sure about that. So we're going to avoid things of that nature. Uh, if we have a look at, these are quite complicated to build and there'll be a story behind this offset 
We're not quite sure what it is. If anyone does know, perhaps you could let us know. We've got the impression that the uh, clearly the offset in the spring centre has to be made to fit the um, the diffs, and I wonder whether the diff and the chassis were built or designed for a different format or at a different time, and one this has been adjusted to fit the centre of the spring hangers on those diffs. Perhaps this is some sort of afterthought, but you would think they'd be aligned. It would make the job a lot easier uh, in terms of cost and construction. But this is a bit nasty. It's just what we typically see on these Land Rover chassis, and it just it's unexplainable why you would have all this welding going on. Here, what we're gonna do is create a, a bolt-in section. So we'll weld a pad to here with a little uh, shoulder on it, and then we'll put some bolts through uh, two bolts here so that we can bolt this section in and take it out. Nothing really that we can do to improve the rest of it and we need to leave it uh, looking and feeling much the same as it does so that it retains uh, all the right dimensions and its character is a typical Land Rover chassis. There's some things where you can build, we'll build these up on our folders and we might build a jig for the side here so there you have it, we're nearly there and we're very pleased that um, this jig is nicely balanced and you can see again one hand and we can rotate the thing and it sits there which means we've got that dead right and that's why you can see that our uh, centre of rotation here uh, had to be uh, just in the centre of gravity of the of the chassis, that's why it doesn't sit top or bottom. We just had to measure and muck around for a wee bit. But it only took a few goes. So there it is, that's um, for those of you that are anxiously waiting to see if you can get a chassis out of this one day. Um, this was quite important for us to get right. And we're pretty pleased with it. So we'll get that finished in the next few days. and we'll start building some chassis. Thanks.